Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my updated luxury wish list. I did a wish list video right at the beginning of the year and I'm proud to say I've ticked off some items off my list and I haven't been distracted too much. But there are some new items on my wish list and I thought it might be fun to share with you what's changed on my wish list and what I've ticked off this year. This video is in collaboration with Shoptega. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've teamed up with them once before on my channel, but I absolutely love this app but for those of you who don't know what Shoptega is it is pretty much an online tool that you can use on your laptop and your mobile phone that notifies you every time that your saved item goes on sale so you pretty much sign up and download the app on your laptop or your phone and when you're online shopping you can save items that you are looking to purchase and then you can save the items that you're interested in purchasing on your Shoptega account and anytime these items go on a sale Shoptega notifies you by push notification and also send you an email as well. And the best part, it is completely free to use. And guys, I've saved so much money in the past using this app. It's like having someone watching for all the sales on the items specifically on your wish list. So I couldn't recommend it more. I mean, if we can save a little money here and there, why not? So for those of you who might be new to Shoptega, I'll do a really quick tutorial to show you exactly how it works. So firstly, head over to the Shoptega website and you just need to sign up. I've already signed up, so I'm just gonna log in to my account. Once you sign up, you're gonna be taken to this page where you can download the button and install the Chrome extension for the Shoptega button. So you press connect now, then you add to Chrome. And now Shoptega has been installed as a Chrome extension. So everything is set up for you to start shopping online. So now I'm just going to head over to one of my favorite stores online. And this will give you a little sneak peek into what is currently on my wish list. But I am looking at some Manolo pumps. So once you find an item that you're interested in buying on a discount, then you can either press this button right here or this button right here. I like using this one because it does give me more options. So once you press that button, you can choose your size and choose when you'd like to be notified. So you can select a discount amount. I always select any price change because I'm happy with any discount. And then you can save the item. And now this item has been saved to your Shoptega list. Then you go back to your Shoptega account and because I am already logged in, the item that I just saved appears on your Shoptega dashboard. So now that the item has been saved to your Shoptega account, as soon as this item goes on a sale, you'll be notified via push notification or an email. You can also download a mobile app. That way you can also receive mobile push notification. The other thing that I absolutely love about Shoptega is that you can actually organize your wish list items into different categories. So I've got dresses, jackets, luxury handbags, shoes, and so on. So if you just select dresses, then all of your safe dresses would pop up. It just keeps everything really organized. Now Shoptega has just launched a new feature, which I love. So when you go to purchase an item, it starts searching for a coupon code automatically. So if there is any coupon code that can apply to your purchase, then Shoptega will automatically find it for you so you can apply the code. So as you can see, it is super easy to use. I'll leave a link to Shoptega down below in the description section, so do check it out. I've been using it for a couple of years and I've been loving it. So if you are a shopper like me, make sure you click on that link and download the Shoptega app. So let's get started with my wish list. So in my last wish list video, I categorized my wish list into five different categories. So they were handbags, ready to wear, shoes, SLGs or accessories, and fine jewelry. So going back to my original wish list, I had three handbags on my list. So the Louis Vuitton Capucines, Chanel Classic Flat in any color that caught my attention, and the infamous Birkin or Kelly from Hermes. And I did mention in that video, because all of these items are quite high high in price, I probably only go for one of them out of the three of them. So an update, I ruled out the Louis Vuitton Capucines and I'll go into that a little bit later. And Chanel is still on my radar, but I haven't found one that 
completely stole my heart in terms of color. But guys, I've been doing a lot more research on the Birkin or Kelly bag. And I think I've narrowed it down to a couple of different colors and a couple of different styles. And I have started speaking to my sales associate at my local Hermes boutique, and he knows exactly what I'm looking for. So I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I totally have the funds set aside for it. So I thought I'd just share the kind of things that I'm looking for. So I was so set on just getting the Kelly, but now I am open to Birkin or Kelly. And I used to think that these bags are priced way too high. It's just crazy to spend that much money on a handbag. But over these, I feel like I've really come to a very good place where I prioritize my spending. So I don't buy as many little things here and there anymore and they do really add up. So because I am more mindful on what I spend my little money on, I've been able to set aside enough funds to afford one of these things. So anyway, the things that are on my list from this category are either Birkin size 25 or 30. I'll probably prefer 30. I know mini bags are really trending at the moment, but I just feel like for my first piece, I want a more classic size, which is like a medium size. And the 30 didn't look too big. I saw someone carrying it. And if I'm going for a Kelly, I'll probably go for a size 25 or 28 because any bigger might just be a little bit too big for my liking and for my frame. So depending on what bag I go for, I have a different set of colors that I really want to go for. So if I am gonna be offered a Birkin, I think I really, really love that cream color. It's called Cray, I think in the Togo leather. I know it's a light color and it's probably not the best option as the first bag. And you have to worry about color transfer. You have to baby the bag and all that sort of thing. But guys, when you're spending that much money, I think you need to go for something that makes your heart sing. And that Cray color, I saw someone in the store with the size 25 Birkin in the cray color and my heart just started really like pumping and I think that is the color that really stole my heart. So it doesn't have to be exactly that. There's another cream color called Baton according to my sales associate because my sales associate was there when that lady was carrying the cray and walking past us and my sales associate was like, yeah, that is cray and I was like, that is the color I want. So he's gonna try and look for a cray or a baton with gold hardware for me. Of course, he didn't make promises, but that is the color that I'm really interested in. The other option that I am interested in would be like a navy deep blue color family. So blue ink or blue sapphire, all of those deep blue colors I absolutely love, again, with gold hardware. And then if I was to go for a Kelly and if he could find me a Kelly, initially I just really wanted the gray colors, the light gray colors like the grease asphalt. Sorry if I'm butchering all of these names because I don't speak French. And the other color that I really love is the grease totelli, if that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, so all of those light gray colors, but my sales associate told me that they're not really making a lot of those colors at the moment and if he can find it it might be another year or two but in the meanwhile maybe you know look for some different colors that are actually in production so i'm not sure how these colors go because i'm really new to these hermes bags world so if you guys have more information about this leave them in the comments below i'd love to know more about how these colors go also if i were to be offered a kelly i did tell my sales associate i would prefer a cellular stitching which is the outside stitching which is the more structured version because i just feel like with a kelly bag a structured style looks much better than the more relaxed style. If I was to go for the inside stitching with that more relaxed look, I probably prefer the Birkin. Anyway, so that is the development. And the reason why I ruled out the Louis Vuitton Capucines from my wish list is because if I end up getting a Birkin or a Kelly, I feel like they're sort of the similar style where it's really classic with the top handle and all of that. So if I was to go for a Birkin or a Kelly, I don't think that I also need a Louis Vuitton Capucines bag, but who knows? I might end up getting that too because they are beautiful bags too. Now moving on to ready to wear, you guys know that I had one thing on my wish list, which is the Balmain blazer in the black with gold buttons. I tried the black on and I wasn't 100% sure about it. So I left it. And then you guys know that I picked up the beige version. I did an unboxing of that on my channel. So I'll insert some photos of me wearing it and I'll leave a link to that unboxing video down below as well. So yes, I did tick off a Balmain blazer from my wish list, but not in the original color combination that I was gonna go for. But guys, you know what? 
since getting the beige one, I realized it really suits my style and I've really been loving this blazer. So I have the black one back on my list. These blazers are so addictive. They just fit so well. They instantly give me a really nice feminine shape. And I just think it'll be really nice to have a darker version as well for a more polished formal look. So yeah, the black blazer with the black buttons from Balmain is back on my wish list. But I don't think I want to pay full price for this one. So I've saved this blazer from every single luxury retailer that I can find online onto my shop tagger list. So I'll get a notification as soon as one of these blazers go on sale from one of these websites. And then there's just one addition to this category. I have grown to really love the Burberry trench coats. I used to think that they're really old fashioned and that, you know, my style is not mature enough to really wear these Burberry trench coats. But of course, with all these Instagram bloggers, I've seen some really stylish girls wearing the Burberry trench coats and it looks amazing on them. So that is on my wish list now. I am looking for the honey color. I do also love the black, but I just think that the honey is just their signature color and it just looks amazing. And they do a few different fits of this trench coat. I have tried on the different styles and I think I'm gonna go for the Chelsea fit. So there's a really relaxed fit. I can't remember the name of it. And then there's Kensington, which is a little bit more fitted, but still really relaxed looking. And then there is the Chelsea, which is the more fitted one with the slim waist and everything that suits my style better I think so I am looking for the Chelsea coat from Burberry next category is shoes so I had two pairs of shoes from my previous wish list and I've ticked them off both so one of them was the Valentino Rockstar high heels in the sandal version the gold which you can see right here so yeah I also scored this on a sale thanks to Shop Tagger from Luisa Bioroma. I got $800 off these shoes. So that has been accomplished. And then I also ticked off my other pair of shoes that was on my previous wish list, which is the Roger Vivier pump. And I've just brought it out to show you. So I ticked these off my wish list as well. And I've been loving these. You guys know that I am all about understated luxury and anything that's easy to walk in. So I pretty much don't really have anything that I immediately won from the shoe category, but I am slowly growing to love the Manolo Hengisi pumps. I haven't decided on the color yet. I'm in no rush to get a pair of Manolos, but guys, I am looking. If you've got color suggestions that you think might suit my style, leave them in the comments below. But yeah, there are so many beautiful colors and I just cannot decide on one. But again, I am looking for a pair of Manolos now, which was never on my wish list before, but these things grow on you and they just go on your wish list. Now, next category is SLGs and accessories. And I only had one thing on my wish list from before, and that was a small O pouch from Chanel and I ended up picking this color from the Cruise collection from this year and guys I haven't really been using it actually at all so I'm glad that I've bought this and I found a color that I absolutely adore but I can't say that I've been using it at all so I'm gonna still keep it in my collection and give it another go to see if I can really incorporate into my lifestyle but yeah just to let you know that has been ticked off the list and there is just one other thing that I'm looking for at the moment and that is the Hermes Kelly belt and that is because I ended up picking these boots up from Hermes earlier this winter and if you see the buckle on the side there I absolutely love this buckle and I've been wearing these boots a ton and I just think that adding a Kelly belt to my collection in this black and silver combination would just really complete the look whenever I wear these boots and also just normally they look great with dresses they look great on jeans whatever and all of the designer belts that I own at the moment have the thicker straps so I've got some 32 millimeter belts and 24 millimeter belts but the Kelly belt is very thin and feminine so that might be a really good addition to my wardrobe and then the very last category that I talked about is fine jewelry I had two things on that list. One of them was the Bankleaf and Arpels Alarm Bright earrings, but I ended up picking up the necklace instead, but in the combination that I wanted, which is the gold with the mother of pearl stone in the middle. I did try on the earrings, but 
None of the sizes really worked out for me. The sweet size was just really difficult to get in and out of because the post was a bit thick. And then the vintage size, which is the size of this pendant, was a little bit too big to wear every single day. So when I tried on the necklace, I just thought that might be a better way to go. So I ended up picking this necklace in the vintage size. So I'm really happy that I ticked that one off. The other thing that I had on my wish list was a Cartier bracelet, either the Love or the Justin Clue. And I did say that I'll probably go for the Free Love, which is the thinner version, or the Justin Clue, because I do work in healthcare sector four to five days a week. And every time I work, I'll have to remove the bracelet because we're not allowed to wear anything on our wrists while we're working for occupational health and infection control purposes. So I'll only be able to wear the bracelet on the weekends. And I just don't think it will be practical for me that I can't just leave the love bracelet on. So they are still kind of on my radar, but I am not 100% which way to go and they're really expensive items. So I'm really not sure what to do. And then I saw a video from Colorful Noir. Check her out, Irene from Colorful Noir. She has an amazing collection of fine jewelry. But anyway, I came across a video and she talks about how she doesn't really wear her love bracelet from Cartier. She bought it because it was a classic piece that she wanted to have, but she also works in the healthcare sector and she had the exact same problem. So she instead prefers the Hermes bracelet. I don't know the name of it, but I'll leave a picture of it. So I'm thinking they have the same aesthetics and the Hermes one is also solid gold. So maybe that would be the better way to go. I'll still be able to get the same look, but that Hermes one is a lot easier to do up and take off. So I'm not sure which way to go. If you've got any thoughts on that, leave them in the comments below. So that is pretty much everything that's currently on my wish list. If you've got anything else that you've placed on your wish list since the beginning of the year, leave them in the comments below and share your wish list items as well. Again, thank you to ShopTega for sponsoring this video and guys, don't forget to check out the link and save some money. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!